What we have here is a card and its rider and their total mass is 85 kilograms and they emerge from a downhill track onto a horizontal straight track with an initial speed of 37 meters per second. Then if a force slows them to a stop at a constant rate of 2 meters per second square, we are asked to find A, the magnitude of the force that is required, that is F, and B, what distance D do they travel while slowing down, and C, what work W is done on them by the force. So let us solve this step by step explaining each part as we go along. And for the first part, to find the force required, we use Newton's second law, which states that force is equal to product of mass and acceleration. And this equation, as I've said in several questions that we solved under Newton's laws of motion, needs to be read as follows. On the left hand side is a force that acts on a body that causes an acceleration that appears on the right hand side. So never think that the product of mass and acceleration causes force F. It is the other way around. Force causes acceleration A. Now, this acceleration can speed up the body or slow it down. And here we can clearly see that it is slowing it down simply because the force is acting opposite the direction of motion. So if the motion is in this direction, force is in this, and so is the acceleration A, that means it is negative. Remember, F and A always have the same direction. So we write F is equal to 85 kilograms into minus 2 meters per second square, or F is equal to minus 170 newtons. Next, we will find the distance D traveled while slowing down. For this, we use a kinematic equation. Final velocity square is equal to initial velocity square plus 2A delta X or the displacement. Here, the final velocity V is zero since the car comes to a stop and the initial velocity V naught is 37 meters per second and the acceleration is minus two meters per second square. Then putting these values in the equation, we get zero is equal to 37 square plus two into minus two times delta X, which we have to find. Then solving for delta x, we get delta x is equal to 342.25 meters. So the distance d traveled while slowing down is 342.25 meters. Next, we find the work w done on them, uh, that is a cart and the person sitting in the cart, by the force. So work done by the force is given by the equation W is equal to F delta X or force into displacement. And here force is minus 170 Newton and delta X is 342.25 meters, which we just found. So work done is equal to minus 170 Newtons into 342.25 meters, which equals minus 58182.5 joules. So the work done by the force is minus 58,182 joules. And you must remember that negative sign of work done always means the force and displacement are in opposite direction. Now, I would like you to remember that work done is more accurately described as a dot product of F and D. That equals F into D into cos theta where this F and D are magnitudes and theta is the angle between them. And we can see the angle is 180 degrees here. So we get W is equal to 170 into 342.25 into cos 180, which equals 170 into 342.25 into minus one, which equals minus 58182.5 joules. So I suggest it is better to use this formula to solve problems because the chances of mixing up the sign and getting the wrong answer would be relatively lower.